Hey guys, this is Infinity, and I wanted to really quick share something with you. Oh, by the way, it is 9.45 on July 9th, 2019. So we got quite a bit of nines there, don't we? So in my Instagram, I just got a question asking me what a psychic physical empath is. Uh, he saw my my post from yesterday morning announcing that I was going to go live on YouTube and my YouTube channel is Infinity Psychic Physical Empath. So this is what I wrote back to him uh, to give him the information. I said, please stop that kitty. I said, I said, great question. Most people don't know what it is. I did it myself until just a few years ago. So as an empath, we can feel the energies of people, animals, the world at large, and we're sensitive to energy as a whole. We understand and know things from the information of energy and can easily pick up on things this way. Not all empaths are psychic, or at least they haven't all developed their abilities. As a psychic, I am able to tap into my own and or other, other spirit tribe to get information. And as a physical empath, I can very literally feel what others people, what other people feel in their bodies. So if your back hurts, I can feel it exactly like you do. My back hurts. As a healer, this helps me know how to help you and exactly where there's an energetic problem. And any illness or injury is energy. Everything is energy. I can also put my hands on people and animals and feel where there is a problem in their system and where I touch feels hot to me. Although I do not need to touch to know or heal. I can do this remotely with anyone from any distance as well by tapping into their energy. This goes for animals as well as people. So being a physical empath is being able to physically feel my, in my body what's going on and in and around your physical body, your energetic body, your spiritual body, your etheric body, and your auric body. Plus, I get actual specific information about what's going on physically as a quantum alchemist and healer. This helps me move energy to help the individual to release low frequency energy and regain a flow and balance in the energy systems and physical body. It's important to note that as a physical empath, my lie or false information detecting abilities are exponential. I know instantly when I hear a person lie or something false. I hope this helps. And you can also go to my website, infinitelovelightenergy.com to learn more about me and what I do. Thanks again for asking and have a great day. So that was my response to Herbert asking me what a psychic physical empath is. Uh, this is a really, really quick explanation on that. I hope that it explains it in a really basic and concise way. If you have any questions about that and want to know if you are or you think somebody else is and you have any questions and and uh, kind of want me to help you out with that to discern, because I, I've actually met a lot of people who were empaths who had no idea they were empaths. Even if they knew what an empath was, they're like, oh, I'm not an empath. I'm like, yeah, you are. <laughs> and I and uh, they just they're not a physical empath and they're not psychic, but from the way that they uh, handle themselves and people in their lives and deal with, with things and are sensitive to things and do things and don't do things, it, they, all, they fall in line with being an empath, which is very, being somebody that's very energetically sensitive. As an empath, and this is something I, I wish I would have put, I gotta go back and put this in the comment. And this is something that a lot of people don't know. Uh, being an empath for a long time was thought to be something uh, theoretical as a an idea because there was, 
it was noticed that certain people were different and had certain understandings and abilities. And so they, I don't know how this came about, but eventually uh, there was this thing called being an empath. And what finally happened a few years ago, uh, and I keep meaning to find that paper, but it's a paper that came out and it's a scientific paper and I love science. It's an, it's a scientific paper and it says that after being able to, with technology being what it was, to go in and figure out what is up with empaths, what is up with highly sensitive people to energy, and they looked at the neurotransmitters in a in a super uh, blown blown up macro kind of way. They like went in really really tight into these teeny 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 tiny um, neurotransmitters that a lot of people associate with being in the brain, which they are, but they're also all over the body. That's how we feel pain. That's how our body knows what's going on and reacts to stuff. So we have have these neurotransmitters in our electrical system going all throughout our body, our physical body. Okay. So our physical body and our energetic body are one in the same. And they're also um, the energetic body is outside, uh, extends outside of the physical body, which is the, um, auric body. And then the etheric body is, uh, what is kind of reacting and blending in with the rest of the ether, which is just space. So, uh, so there's also, there's the auric body, the energetic body, the etheric body, the spiritual body, and the physical body. So there's five bodies that we have. Uh, and so anyway, what they found was that for people who are empaths, their neurotransmitters everywhere in their bodies are way, way bigger than a non-empath, than a normal is what I call them. Um, the let's say the normals have a neurotransmitter the size of a uh, of a of a grape or no or let's say a an orange the size of an orange and me being a an empath uh, I have a neurotransmitter that's like the size of a giant watermelon everywhere all over my body. Our neurotransmitters are way, way bigger as empaths. And so this is how we're able to reach out energetically and pick up on this stuff from other people and the world at large. And this is why as empaths, even if you're not a physical empath, you're just a regular empath, uh, you don't like being in crowds. A lot, a lot of people because there's so much of everybody's energies that you're picking up on and it's very tiring energetically and especially if you don't know that that you're doing this um so a lot of people have just kind of become introverts antisocial they don't hang out with people they think that they're you know something's mental with them when it's just their energy and they're just living accordingly to help themselves not get jacked up from other people's energy so that's basically how <laughs> that works but there is a lot more to that so uh I encourage people if they're if they don't understand if they think that maybe they're they may be an empath or maybe their child is an empath it's so important to be aware of the people in your own life who are empaths for them to understand that they're empaths because they need to live different lives than normal people Um, and I think from what I just explained it's pretty obvious why Uh, and especially as children um, children who are empaths tend to do not so great in school because they're constantly around all these other kids with all their energy. And so they're labeled as ADHD and um, just having all sorts of, of issues. Uh, so they need to live different lives, too, as children. And so uh, anyway, I hope that. If you didn't know about what an empath was or you had an idea that this may have helped you out even more, I encourage you to research. You can check out my website. Again, it is infinitelovelightenergy.com. And there's lots of information there about myself and uh, different links to articles 
in psychology today that I really liked and resonated with and wanted to point people to. So you can go to my website and get links to that or just go to psychology today and the the website psychologytoday.com because there's like I said there's been a lot of advancements when it comes to to science and understandings of of the differences between people and their energetic bodies and it's not something that's well known but it is out there more and more so you could go to psychology today and put in empaths and see what pops up just in general you can also do Uh, tests for being an empath online that a lot of people have done that you could just answer questions about your life and lifestyle and it will basically say yeah you're an empath or no you're not an empath (laughs) Uh, and then that'll help you okay so please leave any comments questions please like share and subscribe you guys and I love you already don't forget the key is to create and infinite love and blessings everyone Have a great day.